Cerberus. How do you know that? Could be the town. Oh. Never mind. Looks like they bit off more than they could chew. We should get a move on. ratio we project being able to surpass demand by 300 percent the first generation adjutants have been transferred from the containment area and are being outfitted with the implants the previous batches have been processed and moved to the storage area we can now control when and where the adjutants convert their victims Initial testing on various species provides ample proof the virus can adapt flawlessly, regardless of the host used. With the civilian population contained, we before host conversion, with the current success ratio, we project being able... Those idiots were experimenting on adjutants. That explains the ones we saw earlier. Extra security. The doors only open one at a time. Makes sense, considering what they had locked up in here. Doors unlocked. Let's get out of here. That doorway leads to the Gozu district. Look out! This looks familiar. I liked it better when Morden Solis was here shooting up looters. Morden is dead. Pity. He was a very practical kind of Solarian. <laughs> Take out the turret! <laughs>
We're almost there. Friendly is incoming. Scout hadn't found us earlier, we'd be dead. Right. Cerberus is still on my station. Of course something's not right. Not what I was talking about. I'm checking this out. Going radio silent. What the hell is she doing? Where's Nyrene? Scouting ahead. We've got our hands full holding this area. She's going on to afterlife. Don't let the fall. We can't keep this up much longer. What about talent? They're retreating. Nyrene Kandros was a good soldier. It's a shame she had to die for your petty ambitions. You're a dead man! No, wait! <laughs> what now, Petrovsky? Divide and conquer, Commander. Kandros killed the adjutants we hadn't finished experimenting on. These are fully under our control. The prototypes for our future army. Hold the perimeter. Keep Shepard away. 
away from those generators. Keep Shepard away from those generators. Cease and desist all aggression. It's over. Commander Shepard, I surrender myself into your custody. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. <coughs> Shepard, I'm unarmed. And I can give the Alliance intel on the elusive man. You'll say anything to save your skin. But I let you escape, Omega. I deserve mercy. Is this true, Arya? Inexplicably. I think he'd agree now that it was the biggest mistake of his life. But this is murder. That's right. Cold blooded murder. No less than you deserve. 
Clean up this mess. Well, that was deeply satisfying. I'm a little surprised. I thought you might try to interfere. Why is that? This partnership has been an exercise in frustration. We won. Yes, I know. But I like to know what makes people tick. Especially someone I might need something from in the future. So come clean. Have you been trying to work me? Validating me one minute, judging me the next? Which is it, really? Have I been that hard to read? I've lived for a thousand years, Shepard, and you may be the most powerful and baffling being I've ever encountered. I have no idea where I stand with you. I don't like your leadership style. Eventually, using people will blow up in your face. Millions are suffering here, and many pay the ultimate price. I hope you'll honor them. Freedom isn't enough? Tell you what. I'll write myself a memo. And don't worry, I honor my debts. You'll have all the troops, ships, and Ezo that I promised. Then I'll be going. Bray will take you back. I have a station to whip into shape. Citizens of Omega, hear me. I, Arya Talok, have given you back your lives. My rule is reignited. My hand is on the controls once more, and I will not let go again. Each of you owes a debt. Gain my favor by rounding up the remaining Cerberus invaders and... ...and we will cast them from our home. Then bury and mourn our dead. My methods haven't always been popular, and I can't promise that will change. But securing this station, and everyone inside it, is now my primary purpose. No one will imprison us again. We may be bruised. We may be bloodied. But we are Omega! You always get these crap details, Bray? Not this time. You got a galaxy to save. Let's get you off this rock. <laughs> 